A layer style is simply one or more layer effects, as well as blending options that apply to a layer. Master and layer styles can definitely make a huge difference in Photoshop. Bevel and Emboss is a layer style which really frequently used and can give you excellent results with little effort. Also, together with other layer styles, it can always get you a much more unexpected result. First, let's try an example to go through the most basic use of bevel and emboss layer style. Here I have a very contrasting image of flowers and a metal texture background. I'm going to use bevel and emboss layer style to create a realistic, metallic, engraved style looking text effect. Double click this text layer and create a bevel and emboss layer style in the structure options at the top of the panel. You should choose one of the five style options here. This is the most important option. It determines the overall style of your entire bevel and emboss layer style. Here, let us try the inner bevel style. After this, the depth, direction, size, and softening will be much simpler. Keep watching the preview of the image and adjust these parameters at the same time until you get a result that you need. Then, there are some shading options in the bevel and emboss panel. To get a better effect, the point is to fellow the light source in the image. Adjust the angle so that it can be consistent with the image, so that the text effect can be blended into the image more naturally. After that, you should get a text effect that looks like a white 3D model rendering. Next, we need to replace the white text with the metal texture from the background image. We can go to the blending options in the layer style panel. Set the fill opacity to 0%. Be careful not opacity, but fill opacity. This way you can retain all the layer style effects while make the color of text invisible. Now, you should be able to see through the text, like the text is built by the metal texture from the image. Then, let's continue to spice the text. First, you can use the color overlay and adjust the blend mode to make the text slightly darker. Then you can add two drop shadows layer styles for the text. This not only makes the text and background more distinguishable, but also makes the text appear to be floating in the image. Next, we can even go into the details more. If you zoom in and check the texture here, you will find that the texture of the text and the texture of the background are completely overlap. This is not what will happen in real life. The texture of the text should be at least a little bit different from the texture of the background. We can make a copy of background image. Then hold the Option or Alt key and click on the text layer to create a selection and create a mask for the newly copied image. Then unlink the image and the mask. Now we can drag the background image in this mask. Here you can drag the image to a position that can make the texture pop up more. Finally, after you are satisfied with all the previous effects, you can first make a copy of the entire text layer and then cancel all the previous layer styles. Then add a stroke layer style and adjust the size slightly. The color is not important, but remember to adjust the opacity to 0%. This way you can first get an invisible stroke. Go back to bevel and emboss again and switch the style to stroke emboss. Then continue to adjust the highlight and shadow in the shading. Look at the edge of the text, it will get another layer of engraving effect. Which I think makes this text effect from a 80% to a 100%. God lives in detail. It is all these small details and step-by-step -step that make your design better and better. The previous case is mainly using bevel and emboss layer style. Sometimes bevel and emboss can be also used with other layer styles to greatly improve the effect. For example, here I have made an embossed and an unembossed text effect. Originally, these two effects were created with some inner shadow, drop shadow, and color overlay. From a rough perspective, it is already a good text effect. But if you analyze the light source of the image and the concave and convex, we can add an extra bevel and emboss layer style to highlight the edge of the text. Here is the before and here is the after, which is just a little bit of highlight and a little bit of shadow. That makes a beginner become a professional. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this demonstration can help. I'll leave the PSD file of this project in the description. Feel free to download. And I have already uploaded more tutorial videos about layer style in this playlist.
definitely worth a visit. Don't forget to subscribe and like, I'll keep uploading.